Hi, I have a kiln unloading to show you, but I thought I would do it from my living room where it's warm because all summer I've been doing it outside and I'm reluctant to come in, but if we can have a fire, then I'm that much happier. Um, in the meantime, I wanna uh, maybe share a little bit about me as an artist. Um, I, and speaking of weather, it's brown season two. I think there's two brown seasons in Alberta. One is at the beginning of, the, in spring, and one is in the fall. And that's where we're at November, I think we're at the sixth. Anyway, um, and this video will be available to my newsletter on Friday, and on Saturday it'll go to public, as will the wares. But um, anyway, so stuff that's happening in my house. Um, we're dog sitting. Uh, my daughter's crazy, uh, nervous and high energy Pitsky named Keela. And at the moment it's nice enough that we can have her outside. So I'm kind of grateful for that. Um, we haven't turned our heat on in like our furnace on yet which has always been a challenge. It's, we're kind of cheating because we have in-floor heating in the basement. So it, it radiates up, but it does get cold up here. So we've been enjoying beautiful fires um, with, from the wood, the wood is from our property. Um, uh, in the studio, I've been madly making, I said that in my newsletter, which you can get uh, I'll try and remember to put my email at, uh, or my um, website in the comments below. Uh, it's margosoltis.ca and Margo has a T on it. There's a opportunity to sign up for my newsletter on there. Um, there's some perks for people who are close by. You get invited to a show. I'll talk to you about that in a bit. And uh, there's discount. Um, don't share the discount code. It's a it's a sweet deal, and for those who are far away, well, I'll go over that in a sec. So then, um, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to I'm trying to not just catch up. I want to get ahead of the Christmas sales that are coming up. There there are a few of them. One is at well, I don't I guess it's not a Christmas sale. It's Bountiful Market, in, Farmers Market in Edmonton, and it's already started to get busy and um, I'm anticipating more of that. So I wanna be ahead and as a lot of potters, if you're watching this as a potter, you know that there's a huge lead time from the time that you make, especially if you're just filling the kiln yourself, uh, but with all your own work, but from the time that you make, or at least this is for me, from the time that I make the first thing to the time that the last thing is dry enough to go in the kiln, um, there's, I was, I was working at about a month. That's comfortable for me when I'm working like I am now, crazy, crazy, mad, mad, mud, mad, mud maker. <laughs> um, I'm working into the night. My husband said to me yesterday, I thought you were only going down there for, into the studio for a few minutes. So I didn't start dinner yet. <laughs> anyway, um, so it's like sometimes 12 hours a day. Uh, yeah, so uh, on on the uh, table at the moment is um, 20 Raven mugs uh, that I have done in stages. So I make them, then I, the next day I'll trim them and put um, two layers of the black underglaze on it. I'll show you these Raven mugs in a sec. And then um, it, it requires three, but I don't put it on until after I put the handles on. And I did that the next day. Normally I do it the same day, but I was not feeling well yesterday. So I just covered them carefully. So then there's another making day where I had to put the handles on and repaint, like paint the third coat. And then I'll carve those 20 over the next day or two. It's, those are work intensive, so I, like I'm stretching it out to save my hands because otherwise I get it all cramped. Uh, 
And what else do I have? Um, I have to do some shipping and I'm preparing for the sales. So yeah, I was started to say Bountiful Market. Um, Lake Dell Farmer's Market is, I believe, December 4th or 5th, whichever the Saturday is. I'll be there just one day. And then my own sale, which is private for um, email list people only. So if you're watching this and you want to get on it too, I'd go on to my website. As I said, there's a, a subscribe button. And then um, those people who are far away, I try and think of you too. I know you can't, you can't come. So I try to do a little walkthrough with music. It's kind of cute. And you can see what's new. Um, oh, and speaking of which, what's new, we're building a bathroom in our basement just so that we can have folks who are coming hopefully it'll be done by then um all the all the stars aligned so let's get oh am i doing i'm done i have little notes here so uh bountiful basket oh yeah the other things on my uh, um on my mind uh, there's lots but the <laughs> the other things are that i'm doing a bountiful basket with and collaborating with the people who from paper feathers who have the baskets and we're working on other people from bountiful market who hopefully will contribute to a basket with things that make sense to go together uh, i'd like to put a mug in there at least maybe uh, well we'll see it'll be a surprise um and there'll be a discount for that basket and we'll do a limited number and yeah i think it'll be great then there's also um i just got asked and decided yep this will be my donation for this year i'm gonna donate a package to HART, H-A-R-T, which is Humane Animal Rescue Team. They're, they do awesome work for dogs only. They rescue dogs and they have retraining facility. It, um, um, they of course have vet bills and food, and but it's all adoption. So no, they don't have the overhead of a building where they keep the animals. Um, so my package for that will be about $150 I'm donating. It's a print of a dog painting I did and uh, a coaster and a mug and 50% off a um, kit for a class for, for at-home pottery making. So that's all for now and I'm going to start showing you stuff. So uh, I think I'll start on my right here. There are, I did not measure these yet. So the the deal is that um, uh, small to what I call large, so up to 15 ounces mug will be uh, $45 and the extra large, I'm calling them 16 ounces and above are uh, $50 and so just please specify what you're interested in and maybe just pay attention to see if I say well no there's no extra large in this which is the case so these are my mother earth mugs I use uh, transfers and um, I've on the mug alone like I do cappuccino and a little um, it's the Japanese oh these guys Japanese tea cup um, very similar in the transfers that I use, but in the on the mugs, I try where there's some poppy, or uh, sorry, not poppies. Uh, I've got poppies on the mind because it's um, Remembrance Day for us right away. So cherry blossoms. I put some some red on a couple of spots on the on these just on the mugs, and I also have spoons and cappuccino mugs, but. These are the only ones that get the splash of red with the black. And I'm gonna call that white, but it's more like cream. And the metallic black inside is just a lovely stable glaze that I love. And so most of these are 15, I would call them large. So they might be 14, 15 ounces. And I have six of them. They have a little frog and yeah, they're all pretty much the same. They've got a little bird on them. And everyone has a little bee. And some of them are have little drippies. Because the the clear glaze and the black glaze interact and have a lovely bluish color. Um yeah, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second here. So there's, at the moment, I've got quite a few of these. Some of these, um, 
the Japanese tea mug. You don't have to use them for tea. I think I've said it before, but I'm going to say it again. A lovely customer said, I'm going to put my hearing aid in that right beside my bed because I like how it looks. I've got mine beside my bathroom. I think it would be nice with ice and some liqueur in it or tea, whichever you, or espresso. Oh, that, that, that fire is almost too hot. Um, and I wanted to talk, oh, here it is. I wanted to talk a little bit about collateral damage. So, uh, was that the right term? At least um, there's wastage or in business, in every business there's, you know, in a bar they call it spillage. Um, it's stuff that you, like, you, it almost can't be helped. There's going to be some waste. And unfortunately, in a glaze load, often things will stick. So I have made myself a little jig to put these in that uh, it's like a box with with um, little walls in it so that I can stand them up. And this portion of it has, um, has no glaze on it and the rest does. I used to un not glaze the bottom and it would sit like this and on this portion, but I've since figured out how to, to manage that. Unfortunately, and I, I checked and checked and checked, they lean a little bit. So I have to make sure that it, the, what, if this is to drip down a little bit, that it's wiped back enough. And that this is, if they bend, because that's that temperature is really, really high, it gets to 22, 32 Fahrenheit. If it bends too much, it might touch something. So I checked, but apparently not well enough. It did bend a little and it touched the side of the kiln. So I have some, I'm, I'm collecting these and maybe I'll make a collage out of them. But I've got of this type, which some people say that are like a spoon rest. I don't, I don't know that I would use it. Maybe as a tea bag holder, and maybe this spoon would sit on it nicely. It's not, they're not really huge, so that's why I don't think I would use it for that. But they're decorative, both sides. I tried to treat all sides with some interesting things. I've put my little frog on all of them. Those are fifteen. Oh, and by the way, uh, yeah, so 45 for the, for the mugs and 25 for these. And then I'm going to move over to the bowls because huh, I'm, I'm liking this. This is, uh, even though huh, I threw it, it was perfectly round in the bisque fire. It kind of worked. And then in the glaze fire, it worked even more. So the warpage, you know, I, I'm working on bigger bowls. So I'm, I'm trying to get it so that they're the same thickness and throwing bigger. And I'm going to work more on that in the new year. In the meantime, I have a couple of bowls that either the glaze didn't work out or no, it was both of those or three bowls on my counter with things like onions and, and fruit in them. Um, and I would have done that with this too, but I just think somebody's gonna love it even though it has a little bit of character it's got this great new green that I have that I have to test for like I didn't put it on the inside because I have to test it yet for food safe but the, I've put the brown my tenmuku and the two interacting together is lovely so that's that and then I think that's a, that's a $40 bowl. And then I have some more. Oh, I forgot the, except I put one in here. So I only have one noodle bowls. This one, and it has a meat. So I've left some splashy. I did it in the galaxy which looks really kind of cool, splashy. And then on the outside. Okay, so they have two holes and then a place for the, the um, chopstick to rest. I don't know why, but I had just one brown one. So there are some left at the at Bountiful. If you're gonna order them, then I would bring them back. And then, so that was it for bowls this time around. I have just a smattering 
violets of the tree motif. So I do have some more tree at Bountiful Market. I'm working on this, guys. I think it is good. It's lovely. There are there it's called floating blue and I'm trying to make it float blue on top of the green because that's how it ends up looking lovely. There is kind of a green hue to it. I've done two coats. I think maybe next time I'll, on the rim, I'll do a third dip just because I think it can handle it. So it's just a tree that's all hand carved. Every time I do a mug that is hand carved or any, any of my art mugs, they're done um, right then. Like I don't have a stencil or anything like that. So there are two that I would call large and one extra large of those. have some mountain goblets so these I'm calling them goblets they are or, or um, tumbler that's another way of calling it it's not really a goblet it's a tumbler and so I've got two in turquoise there's a couple more I think at Bountiful I have I didn't do a Sunday shift so I'm not sure what sold uh, there's a dark blue which I'm finding lovely it's a lovely blue there's who's my blue people put your hands up and then where am I going to put them so that they don't fall then there are two of the ten multi which again this it's just really really nice ten multi Brown. You can just say, can I have a brown tumbler? <laughs> and I'll know what you mean, because a lot of people think, how do you say that? So let's go into, now I have more dragonfly mugs. And in this pink, which I'm calling blush, I wanted to speak to the fact that on video, it's a little difficult to see colors and I get it um, there uh, this was the one of the the feedback that I got from somebody uh, when I asked um, she said she came and picked one up she liked the design so much she said oh I like pink came picked it up and she said I had no idea that the pink was this pink and that color on the edge so I am hoping with my new way of setting up the light with the light from the window that you can see this kind of orangey. It's almost like, um, I think it's almost like a Tuscany sunrise. It's, it's a little orangey on the edges. So of the, the pink, there are five in this load. And the biggest one has a little bit of a wobble, but not where you would drink out of. It's a larger one. I think that's probably 16 ounces. And the one I was showing you before was maybe 16 ounces. It's hard to tell with these bellies until I actually measure them. But if you want one, please specify again what size. And you can tell me how I did with, uh, with this, the lighting. I'm, uh, I'm open to suggestions. And I also, um, that's, Okay, this is a good time to say, if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to buy something, don't ask me here because I don't see them. Um, there's just too many places to check and I'd rather be in the studio. You can go to my website, which may or may not have um, the, uh, uh, we're building the pottery website, part of my website. And so it may not have the ones that you want. In which case you can email me and say, hey, that blush pink one or the brown one or whatever. So um, of these lovely green, lime green, I have one that's definitely extra large. I'm thinking this is an over 16 ounces as well. They would actually make a nice pair. I tried to pair them up. And there are three more that are more of the 13 or 15 ounce and under, so a large. Then we some clanking 
are you need for the planking. Okay. This is a sort of, sort of semi-transparent, lovely light sky blue. And there are two of those. Maybe this one is more like 15 ounces and this is 16. So one large, one extra large, if you're looking for a pair. There are three of our lovely turquoise and they are all pretty much under 15 ounces, 15 ounces or under three of those just so that you see how I treat my foot. If you're a potter and you want to know, that's one of the first th signs that you're a potter. You turn it over and you scrutinize. What did she do on the bottom? <laughs> it's a very serious thing. And yeah, so that's that. Three of those, again, 45. Two larger of the spearmint green, so a different green if you're liking that. Yeah. I call it spearmint, but it could be more like a Christmas green. Both fresh and like I think this season coming up, I think it would be nice for those. Anyway, those are likely extra large. And two of the dark blue, and they had a little drippy action happening. I think that's. I, I personally think that's charming. They're more like oh, almost medium. So what some people say, now that's a sensible size. So if, you're, if you prefer the sensible size, then yes, that one, those ones would be for you. All right, and then we're on to our last tray of goodies. Um, this one is a one-off because Sometimes that when I'm putting the handle on, it's I think they're too a little little dry and it will crack. And I don't want that. So I don't want them to be a weak handle. So I just took it off completely, left my the little bottom portion of it, and I consider this a wine goblet. And it's for those people who like a healthy amount of wine, because that's bigger. Did I see goblet again? Uh wine tumbler and they are um uh this one's turquoise that's the only one forty dollars but i do have two turquoise ravens see i like to show on video way better than just a picture because you get the idea of how if i took a picture of that you wouldn't see his wings and his tail how they all interact and it sort of uh, plays off the same kind of lines play off the lines of the tree and the trees wrapped right around so it's a full deal whether or not but i have this argument about my the left hand or the right-handed mug i drink with my left hand i'm ambidextrous on some things including that because my uh, that's where my table is on the left where I drink my coffee in the morning so if the image is here and I'm right-handed I'm seeing the image and I get that benefit but in my case my spouse gets the image <laughs> because I'm using it left-handedly here we have some brown tanmoku that doing some really nice things on the inside I'm really liking this. I put this glaze to test and it has really stood up very well. Got some dark brown, black, light brown flecks. And then there are four of what I would call those sensible size, sort of a medium, the in the dark blue and their ravens. All different little different all a little different there I am I would call myself a small batch potter and then okay so that's it for lots of mugs today I'm it's November beginning and it's before Remembrance Day so I'm just gonna sneak these things in because I'm having to make ahead potters have to think about this stuff starting in maybe August um, I've got some Christmas trees. So I have some lovely apprentices. 
I have two. And one of them has a mom that comes and helps too. And it's been fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know you're, who you are. One of them has been busy re doing reclaim and meaning taking all the scraps of clay and re establishing it into workable clay and I've been making these Christmas trees. So I've applied different types of uh, glazes to them that I really like. And, you know, I don't know, I should have numbered them maybe, but it's lovely, the dripping. I, I was going to do it all very carefully and precisely paint them. But I think the splashiness is way better. There's that dark green and the brown and then drippy blue. This one has the spearmint and brown on top, which turned dark blue, on, but has a lovely edge to it. I don't know if you can see that shiny. And this fifth and sixth one. Oh, I think I showed you that one. Anyway, this has got a juicy look to it. Woo! I just got them out of the kiln, so I didn't realize how lovely this, this one is. I'll have to remember what I did. I just played a little bit, dip in this and a little dip in that. Anyway, I hope that you have a fantastic couple of days. Um, again, if you're interested in purchasing something from me and you're seeing it on a YouTube video, please email me. I'll put my email in the bottom or get my email address from my website also in the bottom. So subscribe if you like. It's both to my channel and to my uh, newsletter, which you can do on my website. And if you're, um, if you are seeing this on my newsletter you can just respond to the email and say that one please or one of those or can I see it you can ask to see some of this stuff too because I was showing them fairly quickly that is all for now happy November beginning of November I hope it's warm where you are <laughs>